Hi, so I thought I would do another video and um, while I have makeup on and look decent and not wearing a t-shirt for once so because I had meetings all freaking day long today and so I have to talk about something fun because my brain is just like psh, you know so I need something that's not so mundane and boring and ugh, I need something better so thought I'd talk about the topic of ghosts. <laughs> so hopefully my computer will behave. I feel like there's a ghost in my computer because it keeps on having problems. It went black a minute ago for no reason. My um, camera thing keeps freezing up. So it's a used laptop, but I wasn't expecting to have this many issues because I still paid quite a bit of money for it, but just not like I would if it was brand new. <sighs> whatever so um ghosts <laughs> ghosts and supernatural and the cult and stuff like that so on facebook a friend of mine invited me or didn't invite me he put me into this group of people that like to talk about ghosts and supernatural stuff all day long and so um i couldn't even tell you what the name of it is i don't know if it's called haunting or ghosts or i couldn't tell you what the name of it is i just go on facebook randomly sometimes and Sometimes on the main wall, I'll see something posted by that group by somebody and um, Sometimes it's a meme and I'll laugh my ass off and like it and um, So that's the key to me if you want me in a group as long as there's lots of memes and joking I will so love that group and be so in if there's no joking and it's boring. I will probably leave so um, but the the group I was sitting back and watching and thinking, okay, most of these people are probably, you know, super crazy. They're probably going to be like, you know, the people you see on the street corner, you know, and high as fuck and seeing things in the air and yelling at the air and not the case. These people are not crazy. They're actually pretty intelligent. And I would say most of the people that are on the, the ghost page thingy that I'm on on Facebook, I would say most of them are actually intuitive. Um, there's quite a few that every now and then will ask the same question and I'm like someone else asked that same question just a couple months ago you know were you not paying attention but everybody on there always says hey who else is intuitive or hey who else is em empathic and an empath and I'm like empath intuitive same same but they'll always have a question <laughs> Because the thing is, is if you're not an empath, if you're not intuitive, then you don't have a gut feeling. You can't figure out people quickly. You can't sense things about things that no one else can figure out because we're, we're in a group by ourselves. We're different. Us intuitive folks, us empaths, we're different from everybody else. So, um, so yeah, there's always that question <laughs> in that group. So uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of empaths and a lot of intuitive people in that group, surprisingly. So, um, but I, I guess it's not really that surprising. Um, and they'll talk about like their supernatural experience. And I usually ignore that because I'm more interested in the memes. <laughs> so that's, I'm being real and honest at least. But anyway, um, I do, I have watched ghost shows, but it's usually with a critical eye and with watching behavior and observing and being analytical so it's not to buy into the show because I feel like any type of show that has a show about ghosts and hauntings is probably just an entertainer they're probably like a, a magician and there's not a whole lot of difference between them and any other entertainer and anybody else that's a you know a magician you know so um but i'll watch it out of curiosity and um like ghost hunters like i've had cable on and off but um for this in particular incident i didn't have cable so i youtubed it so on youtube if you pull up ghost hunters river phoenix you'll see what i'm talking about and i'm sorry i have very dark humor i laugh my ass off at the whole clip I laughed my ass off it it cracked me up I'm sorry I have dark humor I find humor and stuff that people will probably go oh why'd you laugh at that it's not funny it is to me so there is an incident where um, the guy <laughs> 
they're all investigating, you know, the club, the Viper Club, where River Phoenix died. He died right outside the club because he shot up a speedball. And um, it, it was too much. He, it either had too much speed or too much heroin, who knows. But he shot up the speedball and dropped dead right outside the club. And so it's unfortunate because he was a fantastic actor. But um, so they believe his ghost haunts that club. And so um, these ghosts, the ghost hunters went in there. And so they had a guitar on the stage. <laughs> and they were like, River, play the guitar if you're here. And it was just, it was ridiculous. I'm sorry, it was hilarious. And so that you hear like badly played <laughs> strumming. And so they believed that was River. And so I'm like, Okay, if it really was River and, and he's a ghost, I'm sure if he re if ghosts were real and that was really River, he wouldn't have lost his skill to play guitar. <laughs> he wouldn't be playing badly. So I'm sorry, that cracked me up. I laughed so hard at that. As, as someone who plays guitar, I, I'm sorry, I found humor in that, okay? So um, anyway, <laughs> I just found it funny. And then they had all the stuff with the noisemakers and trying to record his voice and the weird moans and stuff. And there was this part <laughs> where the ghost hunter guy is at the bar trying to feel the energy because there's claims that somebody's pushing them off the bar stool or you could feel energy in this particular spot, the bar stool. <laughs> so, so this guy, I'm sorry, this is hilarious. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna have to YouTube it. It's so it is the funniest thing I've seen in my life. And it's so wrong. The guy lacks tack, okay? And that's why it's funny because the guy clearly lacks tack. <laughs> he just like said this like he was like, River, if that is you, dude, you died from a drug overdose, you're dead. So go to the light. <laughs> like oh my god you lack tech my god oh my god oh my god and so I just I can't stop laughing about that I'm sorry it still makes me laugh to this day that just the way he said it it was so blunt and lacking in tact and I mean I'm like dude I've been told I lack tact that lack tact that was that's an example of lacking in tact right there <laughs> that's like right there in the dictionary or wikipedia they would have that guy's face they should have his face because that was oh my god <laughs> that was terrible but um so yeah and i was watching this one um back when i had cable and i don't think this show exists anymore because i haven't heard anything else about it but there was a, a group of kids that were in college, or maybe they just graduated college. I don't know. I just know they're associated with this college, and it's it's out east somewhere. I don't remember if it was North Carolina or somewhere around there, but I, I couldn't tell you the details. I only watched it a few times. But I was watching it because um, these kids came out to this house, and it was all dark, of course. You know, you got to have it have the right ambiance and make sure everybody's freaked out and scared like a horror movie so it's got to be dark and um so they're investigating the the ghost and the guy's like do you hear that and they're like what and then you see i like i watch body language i'm very analytical i'm very observant in person and so but i was watching the tv and um the guy bumped his knee against the chair <laughs> No, it was the door. It was the door. He bumped his knee into the door. And he was trying to um, play it off as if a ghost did it. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That was you. That was you. And so I'm wondering how many people watch this stuff and think totally real and not realizing that the person made that, that sound and it wasn't a ghost. It was the freaking person on the TV, the ghost hunter you know, or one of the people, the camera people or somebody banged into something and they're trying to like, they're trying to like, um, put, you know, present it in a way as if it was a ghost that made that sound. And I'm like, come on, come on. I can't be the only one that saw that, that saw that you banged into the door and you're the idiot that made the noise. Come on, you know, but, um, 
Anyway, I just, I find that kind of stuff hilarious. And so I, I'm sure it upsets people that take ghosts and all that kind of stuff seriously, you know, that I'm here laughing about it. I'm sorry. I've experienced so much, so much death in my life. You would think I would be acquainted with ghosts, but, um, I'll tell you my only experience with thinking I saw a ghost and I get why I saw it. Right after my dad died, I went to my aunt's house to stay for a bit. It was a different aunt and she wasn't, she, speaking of heroin in River Phoenix, she shot up heroin. I didn't know she was a drug addict. I, that was my limited exposure to drugs or being around somebody on drugs. I've, I have no real experience being around people that are on drugs like, like that, to that level. Like I haven't been in a relationship with someone on heavy duty drugs like that. So my aunt, um, my aunt, I mean, she's my favorite. She, she was the only one that would take me to see my dad when he was dying in the hospital. She's the one that did it. She, she gave me the ride to go see him and it was only twice, but I still appreciate that she was the one that did that, even if she was messed up and, you know, heroined out of her mind or whatever. I don't think she was always high as fuck, but possible. Who knows? But um, anyway, I went to go stay with her for like a week <laughs> until she got mad and kicked me out. And... Um, Anyway, um, because she, she was delusional from using so many drugs, and so she accused me of something. She accused me of letting in a guy to rape her, and I said, why would they rape you? You're old. Don't you think they would go after me? And she got really mad that I said that and said, get out. And I'm like, all right. So um, anyway, I wasn't trying to put her down, but I was trying to come at her with logic. Why would I let somebody in for the purpose to let them rape you that doesn't make any sense so and if they were gonna come into rape they would probably go after the younger virgin not the older lady that's had a couple of kids so she got mad anyway she um <laughs> see I've always been an INTJ I guess anyway um so I was at her house and she had my dad's favorite chair that I guess she got it somehow, but she had my dad's favorite chair and I was walking past, um, from my room to go to the living room and I looked over at the chair and I thought I saw my dad and I looked back again, he was gone and I just stood there for, it felt like, it felt like I was standing there for like a year. I don't even remember how long I stood there just staring at his chair or what I did afterwards. I just know I thought I saw my dad in an instant and then in an instant he was gone. And another time I thought I saw like I was walking at the mall and I thought I saw the back of his head and the build of him. I thought it was him. And then I looked again and he wasn't there. And so, um, and it was right after my dad died. So I think my brain was still trying to cope with the fact that he died. And that's why I was seeing that. I only saw the two, that was it. So thinking I saw him in the chair and he wasn't there. And then thinking I saw him from the back walking when I was at the mall and he wasn't, it wasn't him. It, he was, it was gone. So I think your your mind when it's trying to process something as heavy and as sudden as grief um, because it did happen. It was a sudden death and it happened like, like really fast when he died of aggressive cancer. Um, it was sudden onset and uh, it was aggressive. And so with losing him as fast as I did, um, I think my brain just wasn't able to grasp the concept that my dad's chair that he always sat in was empty you know I think I was walking past expecting to see him as I always did with him sitting in that chair and I think with the mall I I don't even know why I think I saw my dad from the back I have no idea why I, th I think I saw that I think and it was in the time the same time frame it was within the same um within the past, you know, within the months of losing him. So it wasn't like it was a year later and I, 
it, you know, experienced his ghost. It was right after he died, within a month's time, within two months' time that I saw, you know, what I thought I saw was him as a, as a ghost, per se. So that's my only experiences, and I don't think, deep down, I don't think that was a ghost. I don't think my dad was possessing a chair or the house. I don't think his body or soul was down here, or his soul, I mean. I don't think his soul was here. I think he's in heaven, is my own personal belief system. I don't think that was him. I think it was just my mind playing tricks on me because my mind was still trying to accept that I lost my dad, who was my favorite person on the planet, and he's gone, boom, gone. And so I think that's why I saw what I thought, you know, was him, which was, and it, it you know, you could kind of compare it to a ghost because it wasn't really solid-ish. It was kind of ghost-ish. So I could see why people would say they saw a ghost because when your mind is playing tricks on you, it's not a solid person. You glimpse and it's almost like, it's almost like you see their spirit or their a shell of what they were like and it's not solid form is how I could best explain what I thought I saw in the chair. But um, from him from behind, it looked like a solid person and then I looked again and it was there was nothing there. There was nobody there. So again, I think it was because my young mind, I was only in the eighth grade at the time, I think my young mind was just going, oh my God, you know, and freaking out and trying to process a traumatic event of losing my dad and thinking I saw him. So I think that's what that was. So if you believe in ghosts, that's great. You know, I don't want to be here to argue with you because I don't believe in ghosts. I, I don't think that the spirits that are seen are actually ghosts. If anything, my personal experience and my personal belief system says it's probably a demon posing as a person that you love. Or if you just lost somebody to death like I did, your mind will play tricks on you. I've heard that it's not uncommon for somebody who's grieving to think they saw their loved one. Or to think they, if you lost a pet and your pet died, it's not uncommon to see your dog or think you saw your dog, you know, running or you know, coming through the house or whatever. So grief will really do a number on your brain. It really will. It will make you think you see things that aren't there, but then you realize they're not there, they're gone, you know? And so that's just part of the process of accepting that you lost somebody and you're still here, that you're on the planet and they're gone, you know? So that's my take on it and that's my opinions about ghosts and um again not meaning to offend anybody who might believe in ghosts but that's my own personal take on it and so um when I watch the ghost shows it's usually the laugh <laughs> um with the exception of Rob Lowe's show like I said I loved watching his show because I loved watching the interactions between him and his kids him and his two sons because it's just nice to see somebody who's a real dad and genuinely loves their two boys and raising them to be normal good boys they're not all screwed up they're both successful boys they razz him on on his instagram all the time and make fun of him for his posts even his ads with him posing and trying to look all hot they razz him so much it's hilarious so um, I love stuff like that because it's so wholesome, you know, it's wholesome to see kids making fun of their parent. It's so wholesome. It's and it's adorable. But um, the ghost stuff. Yeah, that's that's to me. That's just um, I can understand why intuitive people would think they saw a ghost or feel something like a ghost or feel something that's spiritual because I am very spiritual and I, I've had those moments where I felt like I, you know, saw something. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.